Hello! This video shows how to navigate in a dataset that consists of multiple time points and to use the set current time point or move through time mouse mode of the Omalytics Preclinica software. I will open the software first and to navigate through different time points we need a 4D dataset where the fourth dimension is the time. So we have some suitable datasets here under tutorials for example, CT, cardiac imaging, here, load example dataset. And what we see here is a gated CT scan of a beating heart. We can find the move through time mode here, symbolized by the screen stopwatch. When I press here, we see in the index that we have 10 different time points. And we go to the next time point using this arrow. And now you can see the beating heart. We can open also another dataset, for example, dynamic PET CT dataset under PET SPECT, PET CT dynamic. Let me open the 3D rendering for you here and rotate a little bit. And when I now go back to the time mouse action, you see that the um, arrows are not activated and then that there's only one time point. And this is because we have the underlay selected and in our case the underlay is the CT scan and it's only one time point. So we have to select the overlay, our pet data. And now we see here that we have 37 time points. And we can go through the time points with the arrows, like this is the next, go to the next one. With this one you can jump 10 time points forward. With this one you can go to the previous time point and with this arrow you can jump 10 time points forward. We have a shortcut implemented and you can use this shortcut to also um, go through your time points and you can find the shortcut here under help mouse mode shortcuts and then go through time slow and fast and it's shift and the mouse wheel or the middle mouse button. I will use it now to navigate through in this way. Okay. And now let me explain the buttons on the top here. So this one it's called save each time point to a subfolder when I select it. I can save the time points to a subfolder. Let me open it for you. Now we have here the 37 faces or 37 time points of the pet data and in each um, subfolder is one pet scan. So you can analyze them independently from each other or you can load them one by one. Okay, next is this one. It's called delete time points before current one. So now I deleted the first five time points and have only 33 time points left. Let me undo this. And here's a similar one. It says delete time points before and after. So I have now only one time point left. And the last one is delete time points after current. Now I deleted all time points after the first 11 time points. And you can use these functions, for example, when your um, dataset is um, broken or your mouse moved because of anesthesia and you want to delete some of the first or the later time points or you want to exclude some of your time points from your analyzers. So you can use these buttons here. The next one is very important and interesting, it's called Extract Time Points and with it you can um, change the order of your time points. For example, I can go from back to front, I will enter 37, 36, 35 and 34. So I now go from the last time point to the previous time points and this might be helpful for some um, movies or some analyzers. Let me undo this. Or maybe you only want to show um, every second or third time point um, in a movie. So you can kind of reorder 
your time points with this. The next one it's called average or time points into one. And this is helpful if your single time points might be a little bit too noisy for your analyzers. You can average them in one single image. And this function also um, kind of um, simulates or yeah simulates a static pet. Okay, let me undo this. With the next one, you can enter the um, seconds for your time points. Let me show you this. We have here five seconds for the first, then after 15, 25, 35. Maybe this was wrongly important for my metadata. So let's change it and enter some new time points. For example, 5, 10, 15 or 20. You have to separate them by semicolon. And now you see that only five seconds are between the single time points. This one works similar, but here you don't enter the time points and the seconds, you enter the time durations. Also, you have to separate it by semicolon. And this one jumps to the time point with the brightest voxel. In our case, it's number 15 at 145 seconds. And you see the brightest voxel here in the kidneys. And this one plays the video for this tutorial. You can find also some further information in the manual under help, show manual. And then you can go to the um, time. Here we have the explanation of the mouse actions. And you can find the time here. And here are some more explanations. Okay, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Bye.